With all the updates and patch notes, even if the meta didn't change for about 18 months now, the game's pretty balanced. Yes, the top 10 doesn't change much, but outside of all the top 10 weapons, there are a lot of usable weapons and that's what we're gonna talk about. Specifically, we're gonna cover all the underrated ARs and weapons you can use in general as an alternative to the best ARs in the game right now. Just a quick reminder, in the top 10 list, we already have the Krig 6, the Kilo 141, LK24, KN44, and the M13. So today I'm gonna give you a lot, by a lot I mean a lot, of alternatives to these weapons. The AK-47 is a really good alternative to the Kilo 141. It has 36 meters of 4-shot kill range and 24 meters of potential 3-shot kill that's easy to achieve since you only need one shot to the head, the chest, or the arms to get a 3-shot kill. This is what we had with the DRH when it was top meta about two and a half years ago. BSA is great for playing range and the overall mobility is fine. The biggest cons of using the AK-47 is its recoil since it can be a bit hard to control for some players. The AK-117 is a great alternative to the M13, fast fire rate, large mag size, good mobility, and overall great range. It's definitely something you can use for almost everything like the M13. It has 18 meters of consistent 4-shot kill and 33 meters of 5-shot kill with a really easy to achieve 4-shot kill. As long as you're able to hit 2 shots outside of the legs and the stomach, you'll get a 4-shot kill in that range. The problem with the AK-117 is its recoil pattern. It is random which will be an issue for mid to long range gunfights, and to add to that, the BSA isn't super accurate which will make your long range fights pretty random as if it wasn't already random with the recoil pattern. The ASM-10 is part of the 3 tap family and it's a great alternative to the Kilo when you look at its range performance. It has 19 meters of consistent 3 shot kill and 38 meters of consistent 4 shot kill compared to the AK-47 which shares its range and TDK performances. Its mobility is slower, its BSA is slightly worse, but what makes it a viable option is its consistent 3 shot kill. Even if the AK-47 can 3 shot kill in its first range, in CQC fights you may not hit the right body part which will give you a slower time to kill. So give it a try, it's definitely not a bad weapon. The BK-57 is probably a weapon everyone forgot, but it is a great alternative to the Kilo with 35 meters of consistent 4 shot kill, 15 meters of consistent 5 shot kill, and a great overall mobility, it's definitely a good weapon. What holds it back is its BSA which isn't accurate enough to confidently take a gunfight after the 35 meter mark. One thing the BK-57 can do though is 3 shot under 10 meters. If you're able to hit a headshot, you can 3 shot kill. Even if it won't happen often, it's definitely a good point you can add to the BK-57. The DRH, which is probably one of the most liked weapons in the game, especially by Ferg, is still a really nice option if you want to drop your Krig 6. I'm not gonna go through all the combinations of shots to get a 3 shot kill because there's way too much, but just remember that you can get a 3 shot kill as long as you hit one shot in the chest, the arms, or the head up to 25 meters. The BSA is great compared to what we had in the past, and it isn't even too bad compared to a Krig 6. What makes it worse is its fire rate and overall mobility. The EM2 is a really nice alternative to the LK24 or the KN44. It has 20 meters of consistent 3 shot kill and 37 meters of 4 shot kill with a potential 3 shot kill as long as you can hit once to the head the chest, or the arms. The recoil is incredibly easy to handle, such as the flinch. The overall mobility is great when you look at its range performances. The issue though is that it has bullet velocity, and the BSA isn't as accurate as we would like for playing long range. The FR-556 is probably a weapon nobody even considered since it has been released, but actually on paper it is great as an alternative to the LK or the KN. It has 38 meters of consistent 4 shot kill, and the mobility is slow but it's meant to be a passive weapon. The biggest issue with the FR-556 is that it has aim shake, not only the vibration of the iron sight, but its regal and BSA is based on this which makes the feeling with it pretty random. The HBR A3 is a great alternative to the Kilo, especially thanks to the buffs it received for a couple of seasons now. It has 25 meters of consistent 4 shot kill and 44 meters of consistent 5 shot kill. The overall mobility is pretty basic for an AR, and one of its advantages compared to weapons with similar performances is its ADS time of 230 milliseconds. The HVK-30 is in a class of its own as it can be seen as an alternative to everything. It has great mobility, a great BSA, and most importantly, huge damages. 
it can 3 shot kill up to 18 meters. And if you're able to hit the head only, you can get a 2 shot kill up to 29 meters. If you can't achieve the faster time to kill, it still has 29 meters of 4 shot kill and infinite 5 shot kill. Nothing is wrong with this weapon except its ammo count of 29 bullets per mag and its recoil pattern which can make long range fights hard to handle. The ICR-1 is a great alternative to the LK and the KN. It has almost the same stats on everything, and what makes it worse is its potential 3-shot capacity and its slower fire rate which makes the time to kill slower by 10 milliseconds for each shot needed. It has 46 meters of 4-shot kill, and if you want to try something else for playing passive, it's definitely a great choice. The first gun you ever used is in this list. Yup, it's the M4. With the buffs it received, it is an alternative to the Kilo 141. It has 27 meters of consistent 4-shot kill and 42 meters of consistent 5-shot kill. It has an easy to control recoil and a large mag. The mobility is pretty slow and the BSA isn't super accurate, but it's definitely the best M4 we ever had in COD M, so give it a try. After the nerfs it received, the M16 is sadly, or not, not top meta anymore, but it's still a nice option if you're lazy using the LK or the KN. It has 40 meters of consistent 4 shot kill and an infinite 5 shot kill. What makes it worse than before is its recoil mostly, and if you can't use it without a red dot, you are stuck with this build and its bad recoil. And if you can use it without a red dot, this gunsmith has definitely a better recoil. The Man of War is a great alternative to the LK and the KN as well. It has 31 one meters of consistent three shot kill the mobility is incredibly slow but we don't want to use it for playing aggressive or flex so it's all right the bsa the recoil and the flinch are super good and show how good it is for long range gunfights it doesn't specifically have a problem it's just that it is hard to be as consistent as with a kn or an lk since the fire rate is slower and it's harder to have a good tracking with it and to finish this list, we have the Peacekeeper, a great alternative to the Krig. It has 20 meters of 4 shot kill and 35 meters of 5 shot kill. It has one of the fastest, if not the fastest, mobility among the ARs, especially with a great strafe speed and a great ADS speed. If you thought it was only good for close range engagements, it isn't. It also has one of the lowest flinch between all the ARs, alongside with a good BSA. It can definitely compete against the top meta weapons. What really holds it back is its recoil and its iron sight which is shaky and obstructs your vision if you don't have any of the legendary or mythic skin. You can use the skin we had in the battle pass in the past. What's your top 3 guns in this list? Let us know down in the comments below. Now you might be wondering, where's the FFAR1? Yep, it's a good choice as well, and you can learn more about it right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.